sensitivity analysis uh, is a technique to identify the impact of a particular risk to a project in isolation. Right? right? Now this, this technique is called as sensitivity analysis where I assess every risk in isolation and the diagram that you are seeing in front of you is called as tornado diagram. Right now, uh, we are taking a project objective which is to make a profit of 7 million USD. This figure is 7 million USD. Now this 7 million USD profit or important objective can be impacted by multiple risks. <coughs> One risk is conversion. Now conversion means how many leads can be converted into account? How many leads can turn into successful customers? Now when I took 35% as a conversion rate, if 35% of the leads will be converted into an actual business or a customer or an account, I will make a profit of 7 million USD. Right? Similarly, I took another risk which is pricing. If I keep pricing at 25.5, at I will make a profit of 7 million USD which is my objective. The inflation rate is 5.5%, I will hit my target which is 7 million USD. If forex rate is 3.45, still I can hit the target which is 7 million USD. However, if any of these risks, right, if any of these parameters fluctuate, my project objectives will, it will be impacted positively as well as negatively. Let's See how my project objective which is making a profit of 7 million USD is impacted by these individual risks. Now first let's talk about conversion. Right? If, if for example conversions, if you know some, see assuming conversion as 35%, we can hit 7 million USD. If for example the team outperforms, they perform extremely well, if they perform extremely well, then 45%, this is 45%, 45% of the leads will get converted into account, if 45% leads get converted into account, how much money I will make? 12 million USD, am I going to make 12 million USD or not? I will make 12 million USD, right, so this is the positive side. Now if because of certain reason team is not able to perform well, right? If let's say team is only able to get 25% leads converted into account, then how much I am going to make? 4 million, which is less than my objective of 7 million USD. So this is the impact of the risk conversion on my project objective. Right? If conversion is higher, I will make more money. Right? I will make more money than the or more profit than the benchmark of uh, profits. If conversion is lower than this 35% value, then I will make less profits than the benchmark value. Now let's go to the next risk. Pricing. If I keep the pricing 25.5, right? per unit or whatever, how much I am going to make? 7 million which is my objective. However, if because of certain reason I have to increase the pricing, when, when I would have to increase the price? If, if demand is less than the supply, supply is more, I might have to reduce the prices. If I have to reduce the prices, then my revenues will also be less, my profit margins will also be less, then how much I will make? Around, again, around 5 million USD in between 4 and 6, right? Similarly, if for example, the demand is huge or more than supply, I can sell my product at a higher price. If I sell it at higher price, let's say 29.5 USD, how much I will make? Close to 11 million USD, right? So this shows 
how I am impacted by the parameter price. Now let's talk about inflation. If let's say inflation is 5.5%, I will hit the target. If inflation increase, what will happen? Loss. I, it will lead to losses because cost will increase. If inflation increase, my profitability will go down to? Uh, sorry, if it increases to 10.5%, my profitability will decrease and it will go down to 4 million USD. However, if inflation decreases to 2.5%, my profitability will be more than 7 million, which is how much? Right, around 8, 8 million USD. Similarly, I can be impacted by foreign exchange conver conversion. If the conversion ratio, uh, ratio is 3.45, I will hit the objectives. If, for example, it goes beyond this value, let's say it becomes 4.30, I will make less profits. So I will make profit of how much? 6 million. If it goes down, I will make a profit of 8 million USD, right? which is more than the objective. Now, if I see all these individual risks based on this diagram right now and based on the impact assessment, can I say I am most vulnerable or my project objectives are most vulnerable to the risk which is conversion. If my marketing team is not able to perform, my project objectives will be impacted very badly. Similarly, the second one would be pricing. My project objectives are also vulnerable to what? Pricing. Then the third one would be inflation and the fourth one will be foreign exchange rate. Now based on this diagram or this technique, can I prioritize my risk? Yes. Right? Now this, this technique is called as sensitivity analysis where I assess every risk in isolation and the diagram that you are seeing in front of you is called as tornado diagram. Any any specific question about tornado diagram? Any specific question? Values 25 and 25, 20, 29. These should the realistic and the ground level. Yes. That knowledge. Yes. This is the maximum. Research. Yes, absolutely. And this is the. See, these values should come by doing lot of extra pollution, lot of research, lot of forecasting. What is NPV? Yeah. NPV stands for net present value, which is again a net present. See, there are, there are some people from finance also here. Net present value is a very good tool to give you projected or forecasted profitability. Since you are doing projections, so my suggestion when you are whenever anybody do projections, the best way to project profitability is through net present value.